Hi guys, I'm playing Fortnite on my laptop. Uh, this is the Epic Games uh, version of Fortnite. So this is not Game Pass. This is the proper original, um, you know, Fortnite. So you can see where it's coming from, coming from Epic Games launcher. It's uh, about 108 gigabyte to install. So it's quite a big game. And it takes a long time to install on the laptop. This is the MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. It's got it's got the Intel i7 12 800HX, which got 16 cores, 24 threads, 8 efficiency cores, 8 performance cores. It's got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU with 16 gigs of VRAM. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got 3 terabytes SSD. That's a one terabyte 2280, and the second one is a 2230, two terabyte SSD. Uh, it's got two M dot slots. Uh, it's got two uh, slots for RAM as well, so it's fully upgradable to 64 gigs. Um, it's got a 15 inch OLED, uh, OLED display. Uh, it's got a 15 inch OLED, um, OLED 240 hertz. QHD display so it does support 1440p gaming and it does support um, what you call this one it does support um, it does support 1440p gaming and it does support uh, what you call this one I'm trying to remember it does support um, 1440p gaming and it does support um, 1080p but I don't use that I use the 1368 uh, and the 760 no th sorry the 1366 and 768 resolution for me it's just basically a preference thing so you, you guys don't have to do what I'm doing it just gives me better performance on my laptop I'm actually playing this, I should be playing this on Epic but I didn't get enough time to check I need to check on it and see, uh, make sure it's using Epic Epic is the highest, yeah, for Fortnite Right, let's see what this is using Yeah, settings, graphics using DirectX 12 it's on epic TSR epic native everything in here is uh, lumen epic and oh yeah hardware ray tracing is on so I've got hardware ray tracing ray tracing is on on the game uh i don't know if it makes it look any different I, I mean it does look beautiful yeah even if i was playing the game pass the game pass version would still look good i think the game looks a whole lot nicer with the hardware tracing thing
That's weird. It's actually cracked. That's very strange. You see, it's actually set at 1500. I think it crashed because obviously the laptop is, it is like really up there. Let's try that again. I mean, it's still going to push it much higher than the 1500 that it's doing. But I think it, it's just happening because of that reason. Because I did play this uh, yesterday and there wasn't an issue. So I think it's just for that factor that after a while, you know, it, it does, like I, I told you guys some games don't like it when you over, when you overclock your laptop but it's I'm not really overclocking it that much it is actually like I showed you it's it's only set to 1500 megahertz I've turned off hardware retracing just in case that's what's causing the issue. I mean, it will still look good, right? But let's see if I leave it on. I've turned it back on. I just want to see if that's what's causing the issue. The uh, ray tracing thing. So I'm gonna do a bit of a gaming test and see if, if it's fixed. But it was working yesterday. I, I did test it. I did play with it. I didn't see any problems yesterday. But I think it's I think it's a GPU. It's not the um, game itself. Because I've been playing Call of Duty with that 21 thing, and like I showed you guys, I'm not even overclocking the laptop that much. I'll probably turn off ray tracing, but this should be supported, right? The ray tracing because the the graphics card is the, um, it's a it's a 30 series RTX and it's the 80, it's the Ti as well. So I mean, should be able to cope with that, right? I mean, it's Fortnite as well. It might be the laptop's a bit hard because I've been playing games for quite a while. I'll test it again. If it's not doing, I'll probably have to give my laptop a bit of a rest. I don't think, I don't see why it should be doing that. 